Ever found yourself rushing to the bathroom every so often? Could it be polyuria? Today we're going to unravel the mystery behind those frequent trips to the loo that might be more than just your regular tea or coffee overdose. We're diving into the realm of polyuria, a condition characterized by frequent urination that can be a telltale sign of something deeper happening within your body. So if you've been nodding along thinking, that sounds like me, you'll want to stick around to learn more about polyuria. Polyuria, a term that may sound complicated but isn't. Let's break it down. In simple terms, polyuria refers to an excessive or abnormally large production or passage of urine. Each day, the average healthy adult eliminates about 1 to 2 liters of urine. This amount can vary depending on the fluids and foods you consume. But imagine, instead of the usual 1 to 2 liters, you find yourself producing more than 3 liters of urine daily. That's when we enter the realm of polyuria. Now you might be thinking, that's a lot of bathroom breaks. And you'd be right. Polyuria isn't just about the volume of urine, it's also about the frequency. It can disrupt your daily life, causing you to wake up several times during the night to use the bathroom, impacting your sleep quality and overall well-being. But where does all this extra urine come from? Well, our kidneys play a starring role. They filter our blood to remove waste and excess substances, including water, which then exit our body as urine. When something triggers your body to either filter more blood than normal or remove more water from the filtered blood, this can lead to polyuria. And what could possibly trigger this? Well, it could be a number of things. It may be due to certain medications, lifestyle factors like excessive caffeine or alcohol consumption, or even psychological conditions like compulsive water drinking. But more often, it's linked to medical conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, or disorders affecting the pituitary gland or adrenal glands. So you see, polyuria isn't just about making frequent trips to the bathroom. It's a complex process involving many parts of your body, and it can be a sign that something's not quite right within. Polyuria can be a symptom of many conditions. Let's dive into the types. Polyuria isn't a one-size-fits-all condition. It's a term used to describe a variety of conditions that share a common symptom excessive urination. There are three main types of polyuria, compulsive polyuria, nocturnal polyuria, and diuretic polyuria. Each type has its own unique causes and symptoms. First, let's talk about compulsive polyuria. This condition is characterized by a psychological need to urinate frequently, even when the bladder isn't full. It's not so much about the volume of urine, but the frequency of urination. The cause is often rooted in anxiety or stress, and the symptoms can be especially challenging to manage because they are intertwined with mental health. Moving on to nocturnal polyuria. This is when an individual produces an abnormally large volume of urine, specifically at night. It's like your body decides to become a waterworks factory while you're trying to sleep. The causes can be diverse, ranging from certain medical conditions like heart disease or diabetes, to lifestyle factors like excessive fluid intake before bedtime. The primary symptom, of course, is frequent urination at night, which can disrupt sleep and affect quality of life. Last but not least, we have diuretic polyuria. This type of polyuria is caused by the intake of substances that increase urine production. These substances, called diuretics, can be medications prescribed for high blood pressure or heart disease, but they can also be everyday beverages like coffee or alcohol. The main symptom here is a high volume of urine, especially after consuming diuretic substances. Each of these types of polyuria has its own characteristics, but they all share the common thread of excessive urination. It's like being stuck in a constant loop of need to go, need to go. But remember, knowing the type of polyuria is the first step towards understanding the problem. It's like finding the right key to unlock a door. Understanding the types helps in diagnosing the right condition. Let's see how. A proper diagnosis is the first step towards the right treatment. In the realm of healthcare, diagnosing polyuria involves a series of analytical steps that begin with a comprehensive understanding of the patient's medical history. This includes their symptoms, lifestyle habits, medication use, and any underlying conditions. It's like piecing together a puzzle. Each bit of information is a piece that brings us closer to seeing the full picture. For instance, if a patient reports increased thirst and frequent urination, especially during the night, these may be telltale signs of polyuria. It's important to remember, though, that these symptoms could also indicate other conditions. 
That's why a careful and comprehensive medical history is crucial. Next comes the physical examination. Doctors will assess the patient's overall health, focusing on signs of dehydration or weight loss that may accompany polyuria. They'll also check for any abnormalities that could suggest an underlying condition. It's a detailed process, like a detective searching for clues. But the investigation doesn't stop there. Further diagnostic tests are often necessary to confirm polyuria and identify its cause. These can include urine tests to measure the volume of urine produced over 24 hours or blood tests to check for high blood sugar levels, which could indicate diabetes, a common cause of polyuria. In some cases, doctors may also recommend a water deprivation test. This involves restricting fluid intake and monitoring urine production to see if the body is producing an abnormal amount of urine. It's a bit like a stress test for the kidneys, helping doctors understand how they're functioning. Imaging tests, such as ultrasounds, may also be used to examine the kidneys and bladder for any structural abnormalities. It's like taking a peek under the hood, so to speak, to see if everything is working as it should. Each of these steps plays a vital role in diagnosing polyuria. They help doctors not only confirm the condition, but also pinpoint its cause, which is essential for determining the most effective treatment plan. Once diagnosed, the next step is treatment. Treatment for polyuria depends on the underlying cause. No two cases of polyuria are exactly alike, and as such, treatments can vary widely based on the individual's specific circumstances. Let's start with lifestyle changes. In some instances, polyuria is the result of excessive fluid intake especially in the forms of caffeinated or alcoholic beverages. In these cases, simply reducing fluid intake or modifying the types of fluids consumed can significantly alleviate the symptoms. A balanced diet and regular exercise can also play a crucial role in managing polyuria, particularly in cases linked to diabetes or obesity. Medication is another common treatment route. For polyuria caused by conditions like diabetes insipidus, Doctors often prescribe a synthetic hormone called desmopressin, which helps regulate urine production. In cases related to high blood sugar levels, insulin therapy or oral hypoglycemic drugs may be used to manage the condition. It's important to remember that medication should always be taken under the supervision of a healthcare professional to ensure safety and effectiveness. For those with severe cases of polyuria, where lifestyle changes and medication have not been effective, surgery may be considered. For instance, in cases where polyuria is caused by issues with the kidneys or bladder, surgical intervention can help to rectify the problem. However, surgery is generally viewed as a last resort and is only considered when all other treatment options have been exhausted. Lastly, ongoing support and monitoring are crucial in managing polyuria. Regular checkups will allow healthcare professionals to monitor progress and adjust treatment plans as necessary. Remember, effective treatment is not just about managing symptoms but also about improving quality of life and preventing further complications. In conclusion, while polyuria can be distressing and disruptive, there's a wide range of treatment options available. From lifestyle changes to medication and in some cases surgery, there's a path to manage this condition. With the right treatment, polyuria can be managed effectively. It's all about finding the right approach that works for you under the guidance of your healthcare professional. Polyuria, a condition more common than you think. As we navigate through the vast ocean of knowledge, we've explored the depths of polyuria, revealing its intricate facets. Polyuria, a medical condition characterized by excessive urination, is more prevalent than you might initially think. It's not merely a symptom, but a signpost indicating a potentially deeper underlying condition. We've dissected the different types of polyuria. The primary types, aquaporin-2 water channels related, salute diuresis, and osmotic diuresis, each with their unique causes and manifestations. From diabetes, kidney diseases to certain medications, polyuria's causes are as diverse as its types. Our journey also took us through the intricate process of diagnosing polyuria. We've seen how differential diagnosis, including urine tests, blood tests, and imaging studies can help identify the root cause. Remember, the key to effective treatment lies in accurate diagnosis. Speaking of treatment, we've discussed various strategies to manage polyuria effectively. Depending on the cause, treatments may range from lifestyle changes, medications to regulate urine production, 
or even addressing the root cause directly such as managing diabetes or adjusting medication doses. Remember, early diagnosis and treatment can help manage polyuria effectively. Stay healthy, stay informed. The journey doesn't end here. With knowledge as our compass, let's continue to explore, understand, and conquer the world of medical mysteries together.